we're out at Chica Rocks. Um, we're having electrical issues with our boat, which really sucks. Turn this on. And uh, I've got... None of our electrics are, are working. Our nav lights. None of it. So... Um, we want. We don't want to go too far out. Look, show them how pretty it is, though. Yeah, it's gorgeous. We're at Chica Rocks. The visibility is amazing. Um, but the problem is, we've got, we've got no, we've got nowhere to. Uh, all the buoys are are full, guys. There's, we got these white mooring buoys around, and they're all filled with boats. So we've got nowhere to anchor. Uh, we're not. We're actually, we're not allowed to anchor. Not allowed to anchor here. So we are just kind of waiting until until somebody decides to move. That's the best we can do right now. All right, guys. After about 20 minutes of waiting, that was 20 minutes at least. We have a very nice vessel over here that has waved us down, letting us know that they are wrapping up, so we can steal their mooring buoy. Thank you so much. Not steal, borrow. Borrow their mooring buoy, yes. Thank you so much. Very nice boater person. Boating etiquette 101. Dude, I think you should you should probably take your fins off if you're gonna rope up to the mooring buoy. <laughs> I probably should. You probably should take it's your fins so off. Pretty. Oh boy. <laughs> That's my son. Yeah, get don't don't wreck my trolling motor. Don't lose your snorkel. Put it around oh, around the trolling motor. Around the trolling motor. Uh, around the underneath. Around. Underneath. There you go. There you go. There we go. You're gonna, Lorenzo, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it through that, that yep. loop and then tie up to that cleat. Okay? Yeah, coming to the left, coming to the left. I might miss it. Okay. You're not gonna miss it. I have faith in you, baseball player. Oh. Just get the rope. I almost missed it. Put it through. Boom. Dude, Put it through. I am so good at this. How are you though? No. Tie up to the cleat. Alright, we're heading out to Chica Rocks, y'all. We're gonna do a little voiceover. There you go. Voiceover. Alright guys, Chica she's Rocks Chica snorkeling Rocks. off of Isla Mirada. Oh. And um, we're going to have some fun, guys. We're going to show you a little bit of underwater shots from Chica Rocks. It's a great place to snorkel and have a good time to see some fish. And we actually saw some really cool fish in this video. So check this out. A little later in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. So the visibility was, was good, but it was... It just rained the previous day, too. Did it? Yeah. Because remember, not a suitcase got all wet. Oh yeah, it did rain. It was a lot. It lot. rained a lot. Yeah, it did rain That's a lot. That's why it's kind of foggy. Little foggy, but it, it was good. It was still good. Look at the yeah. how developed the rocks are down there, guys. It's it's, it's another um what's that? No fishing uh, sanctuary. It's yeah, another it's a sanctuary, sanctuary yeah. so you cannot fish in there. And that's why it's pretty much developed. And they, they encourage no anchoring, so you can't. Yeah. And you're not allowed to touch the coral. Yeah, they have the mooring buoys, so you don't have to anchor. Look at that big coral head. That's crazy. And it's a big chunk of rock. Mm. It's a brain coral. Is that brain coral? Oh, oh there's a barracuda. Cuda. Boom. I'm so, I'm so right. Look at how, look at they just flick their tail in there. Yeah, like, once. <laughs> they did it like one time. I slowed that down like times 10. <laughs> and, oh, oh what just happened? Oh, that's me filming this one. Oh, another cuda. <laughs> That's me filming, that's why. <laughs> well, yeah, you can forgive yourself, man. <laughs> it's not that bad. Well, you're, you're getting better. You used to be a lot worse. Lorenzo used to have issues with stability oh on the gosh. filming. And, um, yeah. But he's getting better. He's got stable, moving the camera. Look at that. All right, so we, we do have a snapper spawn right now. And we did see a few little clusters of mangrove snapper spawning. I'm not sure exactly what's going on here. That's Sophie. That's me. Oh, it's Sophie. Hi, guys. 
Sophie filming. I I may I do that every time I film so that you guys know that I'm filming. <laughs> Make sure there's no confusion. Exactly. What are you filming right now? She's filming coral. Exactly. It's cool. when there's a when there's a mutton snapper right there. No, there's no muttons yet. 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 There will be. I'm giving you guys a close up, okay? You're welcome. Very cute. You didn't even film it. There's a rat. Pur purple coral. Oh. Or maybe it's a sponge. There's a queen angel. There's me trying to grab the fish. <laughs> That's a grunt. There's a lot of life. There's a lot of life. And no lobster. No lobster. I was looking. Oh, look at that. Black grouper. Look at the groupie. Oh, that's the one you want to catch right there. No, it's still not legal, though. Uh. It's probably pretty close. No. You didn't get anywhere near it. You just sneak in. You got some porkies. I think that's a fear from though. Yeah. Did you see the group or Sophie? No. You just you were just filming accidentally and no. happened to have a group on the video. I'm pretty good. Oh, at and, that. Then, and then there's me trying to blow the bubbles. Those bubbles. I think you did get one. There's one little one. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's really what you do. You go. But it's hard though, because you have to hold your breath uh -huh. long enough to go all the way down, do like at least 10 bubbles, and then come all the way up. Yeah. Oh, so the reef here, reef here is like what? 10 feet deep? Yeah. Oh. Oops. Hey. There's one. There's one. No. The, kind of. Oh, there it is. Facts. There it is. There no, it's so bad. Oh. Like, like sometimes like, they can be like so perfect. We have to go deeper too. Yeah. Um. There's sand. There's some sand. And there's me there's on the Daddy. Boat. Look at Priscilla. Oh, this is, last, this is the last. This is the last trip before Priscilla's transom crack. Until she totally broke down. She was gone. How's it going, bud? So see stuff. So we have to. We have to yeah. What'd you see? Priscilla's transom. Still, and that was in June. Hi, baby. How'd you guys do? Oh, it's so beautiful. You seeing oh, fish? Water was super salty. You seeing stuff? And like, you know that like, really bad feeling of like your lips and your... Yeah. yeah. That's why I, I was like... So if you say you got better at filming? I definitely think I got better at filming. Okay, good. What did you guys see? Um, parrotfish, uh, a lot of yellow tails. Like, there was... Yeah, there was. Yeah, that thing's been an alligator. Um, and the an yeah. alligator's mouth, not next to an alligator's yeah. mouth. Um, I got some good food. It's been in an alligator's mouth, barracuda? Jack's mouth, barracuda's mouth. Oh, why is that? Because in our seventh grade case trip, he was petrified. Mr. Pollock? Of seeing a barracuda. He's like, Sophie, what do I do if I see a barracuda? And yeah, I just thought of him. Yeah, that's good. So he decided that he would, uh, he, he didn't go in, right? He did. Oh, he did? Yeah. You're just giving me, giving me a chance? Yeah. All right. Time for me to go in, guys. I got my new fancy little diving socks. My fins that are a little too tight. Um, a little bit, but I'm going in, guys. So here we go. Well, here we go. Dude, it took you like five minutes to get up. <laughs> Why did you say here we go? If... Huh? Why did you say here we go if you're not going? <laughs> Our I just went so backwards over my boat. boat. So, first trip is always me going out. Second trip is always Yeah, we need somebody on the boat there. Dude, there's a yellowtail right here. No way. I told no. you! 100%. Uh, I, for the record, I do know how to turn it, turn on and off the boat. Yeah. And I know how to drive it. Kind of. What do you mean, kind of? I think guys, even if it feels like a so Funny thing, Lorenzo didn't see any yellowtail, and I got in, and immediately <laughs> when I got in the water, there was yellowtail snapper under the boat. I did not. He didn't see any. There they are. Now I'm I am in control of the camera now, people. So now we're gonna start to see what the scoop is. Uh, Lorenzo got off the boat. You broke rule number one. You broke rule number one. Well, we've got some, what are those, tangs? Pork fish. Little rats. Little rats, little blue and yellow guy there. Gotta get some names on some of these tropicals. There's some beautiful tropicals in this video. Well, the, the, it was late in the afternoon, so the sun wasn't as high either. 
so it was probably like 5 30 6 o'clock right now mm -hmm. so the sun was starting to get down a little bit and it was cloudy everything was what are you standing on? Nothing. The GoPro's on a stick, dude. Oh. I just reached up as high as I could. Get a little a little interesting shot with Priscilla. No, that's not a drone. Your waistband isn't that Well. I love you, Dad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sophie's checking out the coral. Um. out deep in the rocks, I think, and come out at night. There's a lot of rock to hide in. Yeah. There's a what is that? That's called a butterfly fish. A butterfly? Mm -hmm. Now, guys, know my dad worked at Butterfly World? I did work at Butterfly World. In fact, I was the lab manager for a little while at Butterfly You know World. a lot about butterflies and moths. Do you have a question? Yeah, if you want to know anything about butterflies and moths of South Florida, just give me a shout. In fact, I have a, a, an entire new other YouTube channel. If you guys didn't know, my dad doesn't like to tweet his own porn, but we have another channel. And Keys Moths. Keys Moths. It's Links where, in the description. Yes, it's where my dad goes all nerdy on you. I will just, go super nerd on you. And he just completely talks about all Latin names and all the stuff. Yeah, we, we go super nerd on butterflies and moths, guys. So if you're you're interested, a nerd. Look at that thing. Whoa! That's a parrotfish. That's a real Check it out. Yep. Yeah, we would love we would love for you to support that channel, by the way. We're growing that channel as well. Did you just um, hit a thousand? Yeah, we just hit not actually two thousand. Yep. We just hit two thousand subscribers on Keys Moths. So we're in the uh, in the know of the butterflies and moths. Now there are angelfish, queen Those angel. Those are really pretty. They're gorgeous. Queen angel, we got the little yellow dude. I forget what the little yellow guy's name is. Dad, mm. have you ever stuck your hand in coral and couldn't get it out? Uh, no, I tend not to stick my hand inside of holes in coral because there could be a little shell. You never know what's in there. <laughs> you don't. You don't stick your hand inside. It could be like a moray. Eel. Moray eels hang out in there, and you don't. You don't want to lose your fingers. Oh, I, so we were bottom. Look at the baby yellow jack. Those are yellow jacks. They are yellow jacks. Comment down below, baby, guys. Baby yellow jack. <sighs> so comment down below right now. Oh, so fun story. So we were fishing this in the same trip, right? We're bottom fishing. I just caught a nice valley hill. I was trying to catch one for forever. And we had a nice outfit, and maybe we were thinking, maybe, just maybe we can catch a grouper or a mud snapper on a, on a valley hill. So we put it down with a nice, like, what, 4 -0? Was that a 4 -0? Or was this a 6 -0? I remember. But um, it, was a, it was a big hook, and and it was down there for a good 30 minutes. So I just, I just decided to um, reel it in, and then Big more and then like it was like fighting a little bit but it was like not obvious so i reeled it in and it was like a six foot more it was like massive yeah so that's dumb yeah it was no it was nasty. Way no. so the grunts are spawning yeah. lots of grunts caribbean grunts things are about to start getting interesting y'all they are yes they are we're gonna start seeing some cool fishies just so you know. What is that? That's one? a schoolmaster. Let me see. Is that one? Oh. That was me filming. Dodge. Some schoolmasters. That would be a cool place to live. Right? <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't, I don't know. That just looks Mango. Cool. That's a big mango there. Yeah. That's a sandwich. Two sandwiches. One, Three two, sandwiches. Oh, 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 he's staring oh. at you. He's like, you can't catch me. <laughs> I'm a oh, there's a hogfish. 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 Now that is a sandwich. That's that. That would give three sandwiches right there. That is a sandwich. <laughs> nice. If only we had a crab. You know, hogfish are not actually snapper. They're in the wrasse family. You know that? I could see that. A rat? Wrasse. W R A S S. I could see that. 
Check this out, guys. I'm going to get some good footage of this hogfish. He was probably pretty close to legal size. Yeah, he probably was legal. He was pretty close. It, he may have Oh, there's been... a black grouper. Yep. Side by side. Side by side. Guys, go watch the video a long time ago when I caught a black grouper and my dad tricked me into thinking I caught a legal size, but it wasn't. Yeah, he was under. He was 26 centimeters. <laughs> no, he wasn't that small. 26 centimeters. No. Um, there he goes, guys. Look at him. He was, and they just cruise in their little in the hole out the other side. And there we go. That would have been the shot. Bam! But you can't. Oh, right, you can't. He's right underneath the brain coral. Really See how smart he is? He's chilling underneath the brain coral. Look at that thing, man. That would have been shot number two right there. Bam! Dad's never taken a spear fishing before. No, I don't spear fish. Guys, right? I want to go spear fishing so bad. Cause Dad had a bad encounter with it, so he doesn't yeah. do it. With a shark. What you did? What do you mean you did? Talk to this you, story. You didn't go with some little gun. So. I'm, yeah. I'm a good child. A good child that listens. Sometimes. Most of the time. All right, some yellowtail chilling underneath this little. Thing here. It looks like a giving tree. A giving. The tree of life. <laughs> probably not. The tree of the sea. That's probably more like a coral. Um, yeah, angelfish, some schoolmasters. They're just chilling there. Some good, good feeders there, man. He's coming around. Yeah, there's some good feeders. Got the French uh, queen angel. Whoa! That guy came out of nowhere. That's a chub. Chubby chubby. Well, things are about to get interesting right here, dude. What's right what here? are we going to see? A parrotfish. No, not a parrotfish. Oh, there's one right there. No, what's that? Oh, that's a mutton. Mutton. Oh, buddy. That's a keeper, too. He was, he was pretty close. Guys, this is what my family finds interesting. Oh, yes. Who doesn't find that interesting? That right there is why you go to the Florida Keys. Go, go I, light up I, on some I, hot I, snap. I go to the Florida Keys to the strong point. Okay. That's good. That's good. No, I'm kidding. See? I can never He, he was a lot less friendly than the hogfish. <laughs> I was trying to, I was swimming as fast as I could following this dude. But and way uh, fast and he, yeah, well, he is. He, he dipped on me, guys. That was pretty cool. Yeah, it was cool. So we got, you know, and then we got a French angelfish. Well, I have an angelfish in my tank. Yeah, a little bit different, though. Yes, yeah, so we saw the queen angel. We got a French angel. Guys, my dad didn't want to swim all the way over because I was like on the other side of the reef. So on the other side of the reef, I actually saw a stingray in the sand. No one yeah. cares about a stingray. <laughs> I care, because it was the first time I've ever seen one like swimming in the water before. Yeah. We catch that. them all the time at the beach. Yeah, but I'm not in the water looking at them. Hmm. I don't know about that one. Alright, now I'm testing my new fins out and seeing how far I can swim underwater. Dad can Dad can hold his breath. Like Dad he's I now I am out of shape. Yeah, but like he can hold Which his breath is, yeah. for so long. Like, what do you want me to say? No, you're not out of shape. Yeah, I know. Well, She's not that here we shape. are. And there's my buddy. <laughs> well, guys, uh, Chica Rocks was pretty cool, right, Sophie? It was super fun. I really enjoyed this place. Yeah. The visibility is a little bit better than last time, huh? Yeah, last time it was super cloudy because it just rained, like, a couple hours before. But now, it's still cloudy, though. But now, a little cloudy. But it's... A no, lot. But no rain. We don't. We don't have the horrible visibility we did last time. So, yeah. fish count saw a lot of tropicals. You saw a stingray. Is that right? I saw a stingray, and I I've never seen a stingray in the, in the water before. So it was really cool. Yeah. But it kind of freaked me out because it looked like it was one. Yeah. Well, uh, I was able to see a mutton snapper, which was probably on the verge of a legal size keeper limit, like 18 inches. I saw a beautiful hogfish, which I believe was a legal size. I saw a little black grouper, a whole bunch of yellowtail snapper, mangrove snapper, schoolmaster snapper, 
a bunch three of three barracudas. Three barracudas. You get any footage of the barracuda? I didn't see a barracuda. Yeah, Lorenzo. Lorenzo. Lorenzo? You got good footage. Captain Lorenzo got good footage of the barracuda. Um, a lot of parrotfish, a lot of angelfish. Um, no lobster. No. Yeah, kind of weird. For lobster. I didn't see any lobster. No lobster. It's weird. You think Florida Keys, Isla Mirada, summertime, the season's not open yet. You think these rocks would be loaded, but maybe they're way deep inside and they come out at night. Who knows? Uh, but, Sobe, enjoy Chica Rocks? I did. We really enjoyed it. We got to try and figure out our electronics issues with our boat. I think it just might be a dead battery on the uh, deep cycle. I'm going to charge right. it. Just pray that's all it is. Uh, Lorenzo, you had fun? Yeah, right out there, there's a little tower, which is, it's actually not that little, but that's called Alligator Reef. That's where we were going to go. But since my GPS and all that stuff is messed up, we decided to keep it close. That'll be another video. Chica Rocks is like one mile. I, you know, Hadley House is right there. And we're going to head in now, charge our battery and try and do this and again. Eat. I'm and so eat. hungry. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you like our Chica Rocks episode snorkeling episode um Sophie watch your lip watch your lip Captain, watch your lip! Captain Lorenzo take us home yeah take us home buddy yeah hit it uh come on hit it Priscilla full speed baby oh yeah we need a bigger boat we need a bigger boat guys we need a bigger boat watch your lip we need a bigger boat bigger boat I get Chica, Rock. Chica Rocks, cool. Cool, super cool. Yep. Chica but Rocks. But guys, cool. I don't know what's up with Chica Rocks, but every single time we have gone, it has either it has rained the day before and it has been very murky and we went out like late. But like the water has been super not clear both the times we went. So maybe next summer we'll get you a video where the water's not murky and okay. we can see all the colors. Well. Do you like our peacock bass? Rental loves Rental fish. Rental loves you, buddy. What's up, buddy? I love a fish. Okay. That's my little fish. All right. Bye, we're, guys. We're getting there, guys. Oh.